Welcome back to Kernication. Today we're actually heading out to Sandusky, Ohio to visit one of our favorite water parks, Kalahari. This is the biggest water park in Ohio. And if you haven't seen our last video, I'll go ahead and put a link above and you can check it out. We did the full walkthrough and also the King Suite room. This time we are staying in a queen double standard room and we also rented a wave pool cabana. We're also going to be checking out some 2023 updates and what's new in the water park. Thanks for watching and don't forget to stay tuned because if you notice here the check-in line is pretty long so I actually have a pro tip for you to what to do on busy check-in days. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I hope you enjoy this real family vacation. They have a fridge, it's a pretty big fridge. You put all sorts of stuff, you know, a little garbage can, and then that's your sink. So, lots of seating, lots of places to relax. This is Chris. What do you think of the cabana? Man, it's nice, especially if you got the game on, but it's a Monday, so. Right. Weekends are like $700, so we yeah, came on a Monday. So I actually ended up liking it more than I thought I would. The check-in process was a nightmare uh, at first because we came to our cabana first. You have to actually check in at the front desk, right where you check uh, your wristbands, like through the turnstiles to get in. So make sure you have your ID and debit card when you go. So I had to go back twice. So that kind of stung. I wish they could have just checked us in with the server, like right at the cabana. But other than that, uh, the service has been good. Just text, get food. And it's really nice to have like like a space. Like there's a safe, there's a fridge, you can just put all your stuff. Um, so yeah, like Crystal was saying, I would almost, instead of staying the night, just come during the week, get day passes and get a cabana. And you probably have a really good time. So, um, so it's like a bank holiday, but it's still pretty busy. Kids are out of school, so um, there's not a lot of tables, but like when your stuff's at a table, you don't want to leave, leave your wallet. You gotta put it in a locker, so super convenient and this one was like 300 bucks so yeah I give it 8 out of 10 kernies um, kind of expensive but if you have the money I think it's worth it it'll really make your stay pretty special all right in addition to the cabana I wanted to show you kind of what's new for 2023 at Sandusky 
Kalahari. So the first thing I actually wanted to talk about was this second basketball pool area. They actually had it open for basketball here, but they're also starting to do the Diver VR again. That's a separately priced uh, attraction and there's only during certain hours. Across from that basketball pool is this new snack stand. So you can get chips, pop, pretzels, all addition to where this used to just be Dippin' Dots. And where the Diver VR used to be, they've actually converted into a new cabana style pool suite. So you can reserve an entire pool and a large cabana area for your party. With the Zulu Grill now open, Safari Snacks looks like it's still closed. They had these blinds up and looks like they're doing some work inside. Next to the Monsoon Saloon, they've actually added a new indoor premium seating section that gets the feel of a patio style bar. So originally this was just your standard kind of patio furniture, but they've upgraded it to this cushion furniture that you see in the cabana. And that concludes our new 2023 updates for Kalahari. So we are staying in the Sands building. In the back this time, we got the two queen rooms, so smaller than last time. And it's a nice pro tip, so if you're checking in, when we checked in today, it was like a crazy line. So it was like a crazy check-in line. It was like two o'clock uh, Eastern, so there was like 50 people. And I'll show you, in the Sands lobby here, there's actually one of the check-in kiosks. So if there's a long line for checkout, just come back here to Sands and check to be <laughs> check-in at this kiosk. Now, my wristbands didn't work when I got to my room, but you know, we checked in and we were able to use the water park. So uh, just something to keep in mind, but I'll show you here in a second. It's kind of hard to see the sands here. They have their own little check-in room entry. So here is, wow, the sands lobby. And this is one of the check-in kiosks. I wish I knew about this when I came here. And if you need help, you can actually ask for help. But like you come in here and check in, and then you just need your credit card and ID. So if you have the credit card and the ID, you just check in here. For our visit, we actually chose to stay in the two queen standard room. Normally we stay in the king suite, but those were priced around 600 bucks a night for our stay. Uh, we were happy to see that we did get a room with a balcony. The beds were Kalahari beds. That's all I'm gonna say about that. If you don't get it, go check out my last video on the room tour. I'll put a link here above, but pretty standard. You had your coffee machine, bathroom, shower, tub, um, they had some soap dispensers actually out here, which was nice for lotion and body wash. And yeah, here's the bathroom here. Pretty standard bathroom, towels, everything you need for your stay. So we're on the sixth floor and we're gonna head out. Uh, we're in the Sands building, so we're gonna just walk down the lobby, hit the car, and drive down the street to Olive Garden. So we're gonna check it out. Um, instead of eating on site, it's really busy here. So for good rule of thumb is kids are out of school, it's probably pretty busy here. So we are, we're gonna go grab dinner. It's about five o'clock and we'll come back. We're gonna go eat and we'll check back in shortly. All right, how was is, how is Olive Garden? 20 out of 10. <laughs> It was the it's Sandusky Olive Garden. I don't know what you do, but you're the best Olive Garden I've ever been to. Ever had. It's ever so had. Good. Second experience, still 20 out of 10. Service yeah. was fast. Food was delicious. Waitress was nice. It was awesome. Yeah. It was so good. Mm -hmm. Like, I know they have the Italian restaurant here, but, like, the food wasn't that good when we came here last time. And not to talk badly about you, Kalahari, but every time we come, the wait for food is, like, abnormally long. Yeah, it's like 40 minutes to yeah. get your food, and our kids never make it. Nope. Nope. This, we were in and out before the people that were around us. They were so fast. Yeah, in and out. We left at 5, we were back in our room at 6. It's yep. 5 minutes down the road, so mm -hmm. it's really close. Yeah. Um, highly recommend if you want Italian, go to Olive Garden. Mm -hmm. Cost less than Sortinos and. Oh, it was good. We even better. got an appetizer. We both got specialty drinks, and it was cheaper than. Yeah, it was like bucks. eighty bucks for a family yeah. of four, like with everything. And we have lunch for tomorrow because we couldn't eat all of our dinner, yeah. so everything is in our fridge, right there. I got the. Um, Chicken Marsala Fettuccine at Olive Garden. Yeah, it was nine out of 10 all day long. So good. We got calamari as an appetizer. I got their iced coffee. It was actually pretty good too. So calamari, I'd give it like a nine out of 10. Um, it was still really good. The dipping sauces were amazing too. So um, definitely recommend them for dinner, especially because it's cheaper. Five minutes down the road. 
So after dinner, we actually went down to the arcade and let the kids play some games. So uh, compared to some of the other places we've actually been, I did want to say that the arcade at Kalahari do is big and it does have a lot of games, but we didn't feel like there were a ton of games for kids of our ages, like kids five and under <laughs> that can play, but go ahead and enjoy. Of the games that were available for my kids to play, I think this was my favorite because they got to drive around a car and then it takes a picture and prints it out, like a photo booth. This claw machine was also pretty cool because we got a ball on each try, so it was actually extremely easy to get a ball and it is also play until you win. So even if you don't get it, uh, you get to try again until you do. So this was great for the kids. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this new video of what's new in 2023 for Kalahari, the cabana review, the double queen room, and some footage of the water park and the arcade. I also love stopping at this cafe here and getting some shots of the desserts. They look so good. I'm gonna have to try them one of these days. Let us know if you did or didn't enjoy this video. Go ahead and drop us a comment down below. We always try and respond to all of our comments and we really love in engaging with our fan base. So go ahead and enjoy some of these shots, but we'll see you on the next Real Family Vacation. Thanks for watching.